All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these suckers now. Got a little you know, hand snips. Also have a um, pitcher of water here. Just a little bit of water on the bottom. Go ahead and just snip these off as close to the base as I can get it without damaging the main root or main stem, which is this. Be right back. All right, sorry for the interruption. Had someone come by and buy a grinder from me. All right, so I'm also going to remove this one. This is not a sucker, though, but I'm going to take it off anyway. It's a good size. It also has some buds growing on there or blossoms coming in. And I'm tossing them right into the water immediately to keep it moist. And the ideal time to do this is during the day. You don't want to do this at night. You want to get plenty of sun on these cuttings to dry them out. Before it gets too dark, you don't want any disease or anything getting into that. Right, so I'm also going to come here and get this guy and into the water. How many more do I have? Whew. I am really late on cutting suckers. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. Uh, where is it? There it is. Alright, that looks like all the suckers for now. While I'm here, let's get the small ones before they get big. I'm also going to go ahead and trim these leaves off the ground. Don't want your leaves touching the ground. That's how it picks up disease from the soil. And um, looking pretty good. Onto the Cherokee purple. Let's see what suckers we can get off this guy. So I can go for some more Cherokees. I'm going to go ahead and get in here and get this guy. And this one right here. Take these two large ones I got. These will do. Um, oh, there's another one right there. Let's see if I can get to it yet. Let me get that one right there. That's a good one. I like that. Alright. That looks pretty good. Let's get the small ones before they get too big again. Alright. Let's see what uh, this guy has. I also fed this one. I did a video. I fed it right after, but the camera ran out of memory. So, this is the Paul Robson. Right. Gotta keep them separated, huh? I don't know what's what. Uh, let me get this one right here. There we go. Uh, this is small. It's another sucker, but it's not as big. I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't need it. Alright. Look good. Alright, so I gotta keep them separated. This is that and that. Alright, so I got my cuttings. I have uh, three packs here, pony packs. I already labeled them Cherokee, Black Sea, and Robson. Went ahead and separated them, kept them separate when I cut them. So that's the Robson, Cherokee Purple, and Black Sea. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use these grow plugs. I've seen an MHP gardener do this. This is how he roots his suckers. And he also uses a root hormone. Um, I don't know if there's any bad effects of using this stuff. It says original cloning gel. Doesn't say organic, but I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my cutting, Let's dip it a couple of times, and put it right in the little grow plug, like so. Got to make those holes a little bit bigger, maybe. I'm gonna use the back end of my pen, my marker. A little bit bigger. Dip, dip, dip. There we go. Right, so I'll go ahead and finish these up. Alright, so there you have it. So 
So I have three suckers of Cherokee, six full pack of Black Sea, which I'm excited for. I love this. These two are, I am really excited about this year. I really can't wait to bite into one of these tomatoes once they produce. Um, so yeah, just a grow plug. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in some water. So put it in a dark location inside the house. And I have three Robinsons. Paul Robsons. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, put together, and I'll show you where I'm going to put them in the house. Alright, so here they are. Put them in a uh, broiler pan. This is about a half inch of water down on the bottom. So it's getting some water up from the bottom. And yep, it's in my hot water heater closet. Uh, this was a suggestion. There, you gotta remind me. I'm supposed to turn this down. Girlfriend complaining. Well, that's turning up. Just complaining that the water's too hot. Um, uh, someone suggested, someone I met yesterday on Earth Day, they came and picked up tomatoes. Uh, it was Robert. He suggested, you know, he said he roots his. He does his seedlings and his cuttings and he puts it in the underneath or near the hot water heater. He says it keeps it warm and does well for him. Um, and also I notice on you know MHP he does them in a, like a tote. So it's almost like a, its own like greenhouse. Keeps it in a dark spot. So this closet here is pretty dark. And uh, let's go ahead and close the door. It's going to keep them nice and warm at night. That's when Lady and I would tend to take our showers, cook dinner, wash dishes. Hot water heater fires up. So keep them warm. See how long, let's see if it works. Okay? That's all I can say. On to. Let's put some work on today. Alright, so that's the cutting update or my cuttings and get some more tomatoes and I'll probably do those since I'm also doing working on the hoop house I'll probably uh, give the Dutch bucket a uh, set up a, a, a go since I'll now have space to do it so um, that's the reason why I put those in grow plugs so I can get them right into a neti pot with the uh, hydrogen get some buckets together and go hydro with those cuttings alright talk to you guys later peace